Hey, this is Amar Knight, Reggae Boy Goalkeeper, and you're watching Eddie Vision Channel. Like, subscribe, and share. Thanks, guys. Peace. All right, greetings sports fans. Welcome back to Edivision TV, the channel where we look at sports differently. And on a different note, I hope everybody is safe. You know, big bad burial. Hope everybody is doing well. You know, for those that living in Jamaica or in Jamaica right now. And for those in diaspora, you know, thanks for watching. You know, they could be anywhere else. You know, thanks for being here. Now, another name has entered the chat. Another name seemingly is on the 20-man list to be the new reggae boys coach you know so the head of the technical committee Rudolph Speed was on Cranky Life you guys can check out Cranky Life doing some good work over there subscribe like everything um, so the host asked Rudolph you know what were some of the things you were looking for in the new coach and basically was saying that he wants a winner. He wants a coach that is familiar with CONCACAF, ideally. You know, so you figure that he wanted a big name. You know, he, he said that he wanted the best coach money could buy. You know, and he went on to talk about the economics, you know, behind getting the coach and, and some of the other characteristics that the coach ideally should have. No, at one point he spoke about you know game management and being flexible as a coach, and he actually said that you know he didn't want to talk about this, but he didn't want to get in any trouble. And then he mentioned Argentine coaches and how well they operate, how well they 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 can change a game, you know, being flexible during a game, and he basically said that that's something they will be looking for. So Argentine coach, who is out there, you know, big up Tigat. Um, he and I had a conversation, you know, sports down the middle, subscribe to them as well. He and I had a conversation and, you know, we we're saying, you know, who is a big Argentine coach that has CONCACAF experience and is a winner? You know, so we did some checks and Gerardo Martino name came up, a.k.a. Tata. Not Tapa, Tata, T-A-T-A. -T -A. And remember people, over 20 names on the list. So it's best that you get as much names as possible before you say, okay, yes, I will take a Miguel Coley. Over who? We don't know. So it's best you get as much names as possible. And I think this is a name that is on it as well. So Gerard Martino, a.k.a. Tata, 61 years old, born in Rosario, Argentina. Plays a 4-3-3 attacking formation. And as you can see here, is a serial winner at different, different levels. You know, last trophy he won was the League Cup winner at Inter Miami. And, you know, by the way, he's a head coach of Inter Miami right now. So, you know, he's coaching the likes of Lionel Messi, Luis Suarez, Sergio Busquets you know Alba Argentine champion 2012-2013 numerous champion in, in Paraguay four times Gold Cup winner with Mexico Spanish Super League winner Barcelona MLS Cup Atlanta United you know so he's a highly decorated coach and coach all over the world. As I said before, you know what? Inter Miami was a coach for Mexico 2019 to 2022. Atlanta in the MLS. Coach Argentina between 2014 and 2016. Head coach at Barcelona 2013-2014. Newell's in Germany. Head coach of Paraguay. Cologne etc long list as you can see here 
So, top, top manager. You know, if you feel talk about, you know, what money can get you, this is a top, top manager. And coming from a head coach that brought Iceland to the World Cup, we don't want to drop the level. You know what I mean? We, we're starting to get bigger names, so though. No, no offense to the to, to the other coaches, but you, you you don't want to go down to a Miguel Coley or a Miran Garden after being so high with Grimmy. So as it relates to his managerial style, you know I mentioned four three three. Tata prefers to play a very high pressing and attacking style of football. At Barcelona, Martino continued the club's preferred style of play, tiki taka, along with his own tactics. All of Martino's teams have the same distinguishable traits. They play attack-minded football. They are creative and the style is based on quick passing. In addition, Martino's teams pressure high up the pitch, play out from the back and depend on their youth systems. Alright, so obviously it's going to take a lot to get him away from Inter Miami. You know, if the money is right, because they, at, the, at the end of the day, and I don't think Tata know how much the money is. You know, the JFF though just put out an ad in the paper and say we need a coach. You know, the salary is X amount. You know, so a lot of things to consider. You know, but for me, I think Tata is on the list based on what Rudolf Speed said in the interview. You know, so no Tapa. But Tata, what you guys think about this? Gerardo Martino to coach the Reggae Boys. Can he make the top five? You know, Speed said that he'll bring down the list to, to five. And hopefully by August 1st, we'll have a new manager or coach in place. So he said in the interview, he's in no rush. You know, he has the entire July to sort out the coach situation. But by August 1st, we should have a new coach in place. Will it be Martino? Who knows? Will other names pop up? Just have to wait and see. I'm Eddie Gona. Thanks for watching. Always remember to like, share, and subscribe. I'm, I'm Vin Blaine, right? I am, I'm pleased to be on Edivision TV, and I hope that you, you know, share and subscribe. Good content. Good host, Eddie, Eddie is top when it comes down to hosting. Ask good questions and um, don't interrupt you when you're speaking, which is very, very important, right? But still, that he has a balance when he asks his questions. So do like, subscribe, and ensure that you support Eddie Vision TV.